Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of Connect. Today we got another exciting episode to talk about the future of connectivity and in particular a, a new protocol called Matter. Uh, to help us do that, we've got an excellent guest here, Suyash Jain. He's our 15.4 software R&D manager and also board member of the Connectivity Standard Alliance. Um, so my name's Adrian, here's Nick. Let's go ahead and jump in and learn all about Matter. So Suyash, thanks so much for joining us today. Thanks for having me. Absolutely. So let's, let's jump right in. You know, brand new technology standard, what is Matter? Uh, before I answer that question, I want to go over what the IoT landscape looks like today in the industry. So uh, today what we have is we have a lot of good technologies like Wi-Fi uh, serving high throughput requirements, uh, Bluetooth low energy uh, serving phone uh, connection problem, and also we have Zigbee for example, serving problem of mesh uh, topologies, right? So when you, when you need multiple hops to reach a device, Zigbee comes in. But what, what happens when you're trying to get an IoT or true IoT experience is you're buying devices of all these technologies, bringing them in your home, and then trying to connect. But all you can do is talk to devices from one technology and only that technology. Right, so you have these walled gardens that you are then trying to patch up. Um, what typically vendors do today is they write additional code on top to be able to talk between these two technologies, but that is not standardized. So as an end consumer, what I have to do then is I have to know which ecosystem or which technology have I bought products for, and then only use those products in my home. Now that's a big problem, not just for consumers, but for developers as well, because when they are developing products, then they have to develop products for one technology because they know that they, that doesn't equally translates to other area, or they have to write code for one ecosystem, another ecosystem, and maintain it, which is both cost and time. So what, what happens is industry recognize this problem, and what they are now trying to do is they are coming up with a new standard that now creates a bridge between these uh, technologies, which is standardized. Uh, so this standardized uh, solution is what is, is Matter. Mm, okay, so yeah, Matter will kind of unify this home environment. And you know, I've seen it, this problem firsthand actually, so I get calls, texts, messages from my dad all the time, hey, should I buy the Zigbee gateway? Should I buy this light bulb? Um, and he actually asked me about Matter recently. So I, I'm very excited personally about the technology. Where all do you see it being used? What use cases do you see for Matter? So you can think of Matter being used initially in, in home automation sort of networks, but then uh, there is no limit, right? So it can go from uh, home automation to uh, industry automation, commercial automation, and then basically it's offering connectivity. Uh, so basically uh, you, you just can think wherever you need connectivity, Matter can apply. That's fantastic. And I'm really exciting to see TI trying to help solve this, this challenge, right? You know, regardless of what you've invested in in the past, you know, ecosystem A, I can actually go off to, you know, a store, buy some connected light bulbs, whatever that might be, and feel confident that it'll interoperate simply because of, of matter now. Um, and, and what exactly is TI's involvement in helping to define this new, new protocol, new standard? So that's a good question, right? So TI has been a long time board member of, of Zigbee Alliance, which is now the Connectivity Standards Alliance. Uh, as a board member, uh, TI, uh, in this case, I was lucky to be there. Uh, we participated when the opportunity to discuss uh, this proposal came up. Uh, we looked at the merits of the proposal, and, and TI uh, agreed uh, to, to participate and in, in, in develop the standard and promote the standard, which is basically what we're doing right now. Um, and we are participating in the alliance uh, as uh, uh, in, in various avenues. So there are 30 plus uh, uh, groups that are there in the Connectivity Standards Alliance to develop this uh, standards. We have contributed heavily in various uh, various groups, as well as we are developing uh, and implementing the code uh, and porting the code or, or adopting the code but that is being developed by the industry participation onto TI platforms. Now what that means is developers today can they get, get TI platforms and then they can start writing their own product specific code on top uh, the standard compliance code. So that's that's basically, TI has been involved from the beginning and is now uh, contributing and getting platforms ready so developers today can, can start developing their products and when standard becomes 1.0, can have products out in the market. Awesome, yeah, it's exciting. I always like when you know, TI is kind of involved in a leadership position from the beginning, bringing these new technologies to market. And you mentioned several times 
developers getting started, code being available. Uh, wh where can people get started today and what can they expect from TI if they want to start playing with Matter? Right, excellent question. So uh, the, what, what, what uh, Connectivity Standards Alliance has done is they have developed uh, the standard, uh, not just the standard specification, but they are also uh, developing the code as well as an open source uh, software. So uh, what TI has done is TI has enabled TI's uh, development platforms onto that uh, repository. So developers can today go, go on uh, the uh, Connectivity Standards Alliance uh, uh, Git repo uh, and, and go to the TI platforms. And there they can see that we not only have the example supported, but a very easy to use uh, user guides. So they can follow the instructions, get the code building, and download the code onto the development platforms and start seeing what Matter does. And on top of that, extend that to implement their own specific extensions onto the products. Awesome, so it sounds like there's code available today. They can get started. Uh, Siyash, thank you so much for, for being here. It's always great when we can pick the brain of somebody from our R&D team who's close to the technology actually on the board of the Connectivity Standards Alliance. Thank you guys for joining us as well. Uh, make sure to check out some of the resources linked below. If you want to get started with Matter, if you want to learn more, we'll have everything you need down there. As always, we have more planned, more great connectivity videos coming up. Don't miss those. Thank you.